The Conspiracy Hybrid uses the Conspiracy Core and wraps in the Forge 2 Hybrid cover stock, giving the Conspiracy Hybrid ball motion that fits perfectly between the Solid and the Pearl Conspiracy. Jack here. Uh, today we did a review on the uh, Conspiracy Hybrid. Uh, my layout on this ball was 70 by 3 and 3 quarters by 30. I tweaked the valve angle a little bit uh, for that ma maximum flip. First impressions of this ball were uh, real good. I like the way the ball moved down lane, went through the pins, uh, smooth through the front ends and the mids. When I'm going to use it, uh, for me, it could be first out the bag, or it could be a ball that comes out maybe a second, third game. As far as where it fits in my arsenal, I've got both the solid and the pearl, so it's right in the middle there. Uh, it just depends on what's going on in the uh, lanes out there. It's, it will determine how soon it come, comes out the bag. As far as uh, ball motion goes, uh, I got a couple of shots here out of the six you're going to see. I left the nine pin. I got a little high on that shot. What I like about it is I think the dynamic core that this ball comes with or is, uh, it has part of its uh, uh, technology uh, allow for a, uh, a a good hit and not that leave that four for me, four nine, so you just can't get some time to that hit. I also got a little high on one shot and uh, you say lucked out and left the uh, four seven. So again, I think dynamic core uh, helped to get a few, pin, few more pins off the deck. Uh, as far as the surface on this, I left it at out of box. Uh, I have tweaked it since we did the shot here uh, and with good results. I simply just went with the uh, the last uh, sanding grit, which was uh, 2000.